Starting off Star Wars 2024, we got the Acolyte. Apparently, I think the Acolyte's going to be dropping first. I think it's either the Acolyte or Skeleton Crew. Neither of them have been, uh, the dates have not been released. But, um, yeah, the, high, the Acolyte's going to be set in the High Republic. It's live action. It's been described as a Jedi fest, which uh, <laughs> means there's going to be a lot of Jedi in it. Uh, it's set 100 years before The Phantom Menace, hmm. which is kind of weird, but um, right. it's going to be told from the dark side user perspective. There's going to be... Um, it's basically going to be how the Sith infiltrated the Jedi Order. It's going to be a mystery thriller with twins, and it's eight episodes long. That's just the quick rundown of the show of what we know mm -hmm. so far. Uh, so it's estimated to come out either summer or beyond, basically from uh -huh. summer to the end of the year, unless they push it back, which who knows? They might. Um, but what do you guys think about this? Are you guys excited about this or this, what? The way they describe it, it sounds kind of cool, but I don't know if it's actually going to be good. Yeah. So I like the aspect of like seeing it from a different point of view. Right. From the Sith side of things, but I don't know if it'll actually be good or not. Right. Yeah, that's... That's the that's the question. <laughs> <laughs> that's the real question. That's I don't the, have the answer for you. <laughs> tell me the answer, Matt. <laughs> no, yeah, and the other thing we got to remember too is it's it the director or creator is um oh I just lost her name. I should have written it down. Fact checker. This I'll is look it up. It's a, it's a confusing name to say. Uh Leslie Headland is Ooh, actually nice. uh, the creator of this one. Um, and calm down. Got here. an interesting past there. Uh, <laughs> really? Oh, okay. with, I'm yeah. thinking of the one that was doing the Ray movie. Sorry. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> which we might talk about here in a little bit too. Ray. Yeah, yeah, that was some Look news that dropped recently on R A Y. Do you want to hit it right now? Do you want to touch on no, that? Right no, no. Well, 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 well. Oh, yeah. What does No, I just said we're on the acolyte and we're thinking about Ray and we're thinking about all the other. Future things that Kathleen Kennedy has her paws in. Yeah. Is that what it is? Is so, it the problem? Yeah. So I don't know. This one, I'm, I'm really nervous about this one. I, I think this one's going to be a train wreck, to be honest. You're I, talking about the acolyte. The acolyte. And the Ray movie is going to be a train wreck, too. But, but it has um, potential, like Inyaki, Darth Tenebris, Dark, Darth Plagueis vibes for acolyte, anyone? Hmm, Could you get that kind of cool stuff in there? No. I don't know. Really? I mean, who's. Who's really? I mean, the only thing that I've really seen that might that comes close to being cool in the High Republic is uh, Jedi Survivor, mm. and I haven't even finished that. But I'm going <laughs> I to, haven't either. and That's it's your... going to be epic. If Nick was here, he'd be yelling at me. That's He's your yelling resolution at for 2024. Dude. Yeah, resolution 2024. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, getting off topic, but yeah. So it could be interesting, you know, yeah. if it was being directed by almost anybody else. Um, <laughs> I think I would be more excited it's it's more uh, the behind the scenes stuff that got, that has me uh nervous also yeah. if you watch some of the interviews with the characters of like that are supposed to be some of the main characters uh it's got me nervous just because they're more talking about agendas than they are actual story so i'm i'm just i'm worried that's just gonna be more that, like agenda pushing than it is going to be actually good Ain't story right. which is what crap. disney star right. wars has been almost this entire time right if they come so. out swinging like that like leaning in on that side of star wars or of of or i guess that side of lucasfilm that's not what star wars fans want right star wars fans just want a good story and they want all the other ingredients that we showed last week <laughs> You yeah. know, and 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 even just you know, they they might weave something in like that, but why does it have to destroy the potential quality for the story? It doesn't. Right. We just want a good Star Wars story that ties to the things that we know and love, not destroys the things that we know and yeah. love in Star Wars. That's exactly. it's not that complicated actually. It's we just, broke it down before. And and you can yeah. you know you know if you don't but then once you start injecting all the agenda e stuff like overwhelmingly yeah it just like you can't you can't even judge it on its own merit because you're like well they like you could tell they weren't allowed to do this thing because of that and they weren't allowed to do this other thing because of that. So it's like just give us a solid story that plays out. And if it fits into some agenda, I mean, that's what art is, right? We can interpret what we want out of it. Mm -hmm. Don't force feed yeah. or pander, as KG said. And so did, uh, who was the other uh, funny, they just made fun of the Panderverse. 
Oh yeah, South Park. Uh, South, yeah, Park. South Park. Yeah. Yeah. South totally Park. Right. Let South Park do hilarious. the Pandaverse, and let us Star Wars fans just determine whether or not it's actually a good story because it can be done. And even if it's in the old Repu- High Republic time, just when you say the words High Republic, because we know of all the other c- the groundwork they've laid for that, it makes me nervous. <laughs> yeah, because like even, other than yeah, when, the, when they <laughs> announced the High Republic, like the trailer for like the series of the High Republic, they had like all these things written on a whiteboard, and it was like all agendas that they circled. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you're like, what about the story? I don't even think the story was circled. <laughs> Right. I don't know. I was like, what? Yeah. Yikes. Terrible way to start. No, just bad. Also, it's 100 years before. <laughs> you think they would go like 500, like 1,000 years I before? Just, but I'm they like, don't. Well, then you can say one it. Hondo. It's, I do it like fits. one Hondo. Here's the thing. like, If they do High Republic, it's kind of early enough and touching up until the prequels, maybe it touches into some of that. Yeah, they better not screw it up. Right. But if they go back 1,000, now you're talking like Yoda. Maybe maybe that's Plagueis. Maybe that's something. You know what I mean? So at least they're not going and messing all that jazz up. Yeah. Like, I Are mean, we ever going to get like a true Yoda story? Like prequel, any kind of era, where maybe a thousand years goes a thousand years ago, it was nothing but Yodas, and they were the only force sensitive beings, and et cetera, et cetera, and it went down the line for I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like right. you could do that's how you start the story of the force or whatever mm-hmm. with yeah, Yoda. I don't trust anybody with the starting of the. I, I say never ever mm-hmm. ever explore the origins of the force. That's yeah. my personal unless opinion. it's George, unless it's George, but even still. <laughs> when you explain away a lot of this stuff, it takes away a lot of the magic Mystery. of it, and, and it's just unnecessary in some ways. So, um, yeah. Well, you're right. It's like a magician. You're like, oh, that was a really cool magic trick. Right. I really like this magician. He does yeah. some cool stuff, and then he shows you how it's done. How it's done. You're like, you're like oh, 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 that's not cool. Oh, yeah. I, I, I could have done that. Right. <laughs> so then you're like, never mind. It's not a good magi- magician anymore. Exactly. The only other thing, I mean, I'm excited to see more Jedi. That's cool. That like, if they actually pull off like good Jedi fights, and if they pull off a good story, you know, I will praise it. If it's if it's good, mm-hmm. we will definitely give it the credit. Oh, we will. It is due. And uh, if it's amazing, we will we will definitely say that. I just with everything that's gone on in Star Wars, I am not. I am just, I don't know. I'm just not ready for it in some ways. I've lost some hope in it with everything surrounding it. Yeah. uh, The agenda pushing and all that stuff. It's just, I I just, it has a bad taste in my mouth. Right. So maybe it'll surprise me. Maybe I'll go in so low again. All right. uh, But yeah, so Acolyte, I think we can all say we're Mm. very, I don't know. I'm hesitant. The only thing, the only other like saving grace in some point is uh, Jonas Suitomo. Who is uh, Chewbacca? Who played Chewbacca. Yeah. He's going to be a uh, Wookiee Jedi. I don't know Ooh. how they're going to pull that off. Wow. But if that they do that cool. well, that will probably be my favorite part <laughs> yeah. of the entire thing. Oh, yeah. If they do it well, it could be campy, but if they do it well, that's the thing. It's it, it, the caveat the, there is if they do it well. The <laughs> other problem that still lies on all this is it's Disney Plus, and now we know, know. what they give us on Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. Never mind the story. We know like the quality dip it, dipage and strange things. <laughs> usually is involved in the acting and the script and the story yeah and this has all been done before the like writer strike so they haven't had any time to like change anything it. yeah and i don't know man and it's this still, is still back it makes in, me nervous that they haven't yeah. put an announce like they haven't actually announced when it's coming out like that's that tells me in some ways that they're not confident in it yeah. either that's the thing and there's been so much behind the scenes stuff that's been kind of shady with it that i don't know like a lot of it was done over in europe uh, but there was some weird financial stuff that they were looking into with it that, like, mm. higher ups in Disney had to come to Lucasfilm to, like, take a look at the books. Wow. wow. Type Ow. stuff. Cooking the books. That's room. It's rumor. Don't get me wrong. It's rumor. But mm-hmm. it is there. So, yeah. I don't know. Weird stuff. Anyway, so I'm not too sure about the Acolyte. What'd you say, Matt? You're not too sure about it? Are you, yeah, it's just you're kinda, In theory, it could be cool. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a great point. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm massively hesitant. Massively hesitant. Yeah. As hesitant... As I've been for anything released in the Disney Plus era. So take that for what it's worth.